Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs and today I have a new gift box to show you, a new treat box. This box holds these yummies, devil creams from Little Debbie. They're from Walmart, nothing fancy, just Walmart, but hello, who wouldn't love to get one of those? So we're gonna fancy it up today and I'm using the Treat Time stamp set along with the coordinating framelits these make um, a sour cream container that looks like this, um, but I'm only using this one today. Now, we're gonna use Granny Apple Green cardstock and Blueberry Bushel. Those two colors look really great together, don't you think? All right, let's get started. All right, to make this box, you're gonna need a piece of Granny Apple Green that measures eight inches by six and a half inches. Now, before you write all these measurements down frantically, go over and click on the link in the description of this video on YouTube. It'll take you back to the original Facebook Friday post when I did this project on my live video. If you scroll down below the third picture, you'll find a PDF that you can download, save, or print, and it has all the measurements on there for you. All right, so we're gonna score the long side at one and a fourth and six and three fourths. We're gonna turn it and score the short side at one and three fourths, three, four and three fourths, and six. So you can put your simply scored away and now you need your scissors. And we're going to actually first cut off these, these little squares here on the ends. Get those out of here, we don't need them. And then just cut this little tab at an angle. That'll help get us a nice and even fit. All right, now all we're going to do is just cut up these lines to the horizontal score line. Just like that. Now we're gonna burnish all of this. and put some adhesive there. And actually, if you fold it in half, just like that, you'll get a perfect fit. Now fold in these ends and put adhesive here on the last one. Don't forget to put in your little cream cake and the last one. And I'm gonna make sure that my edges, my ends are fold in the same way they're folded into the back so that one's folded in this way and this way and that will be the front right there now we're going to take a piece of the granny apple green designer series paper from the brights stack and put that right on front just like that and that's your box easy all right let's stamp some hearts this is the third largest stitch square from the, the stitched shape framelits and I'm gonna just stamp some hearts here around the edge. You're only going to see the edge. So just a few like that. Then I'm going to stamp the sentiment, which looks like this right here. If it was a snake, it would have bit me. Just hiding in plain sight. Blueberry bushel. And let's just do it right there in the middle. And let's move all the ink out of the way. And we're gonna cut it. Remember, I said we were going to use this framelit right here. This is a wonderful framelit. You can uh, use your magnetic platform and it will really hold that framelit centered where you want it. So let's cut that. And then we are ready to stack this up. So we have our square. I've also cut out a blueberry bushel scallop circle. So we're gonna do that one first, like that. And then we're gonna do this one in the middle, like that. And there you have it. Now I liked to put it off center a little bit. So I'm gonna put it down here towards the end with some dimensionals. There we go. And then we need a bow. And I am using some new ribbon looks just like this, and it is called Textured Weave Ribbon in Granny Apple Green. So let's make a bow. You could also, if you wanted to, take this ribbon and tie it around the end, tie it around the whole box and tie it at the end, instead of adhering the box closed. 
All right, there we go. Now I'm gonna use a couple of glue dots. Since this is a pretty big bow, I'm gonna grab a couple of them like that. And I'm gonna put it here on the side. And that's it. That's a really fun, quick and easy and super cute treat box, don't you think? Teachers, neighbors, friends, coworkers, anybody would love to get one of these. Make sure you hop over to my blog using that link in the description of the video and scroll down under the third picture. You'll find the PDF with all the dimensions and the product information. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know if you have any questions and have a wonderful day. Thanks so much. Bye.